Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. Are you ready for the big hair, the curls, the scoop? Come on then, let's get a hug. Good to have you along on a Friday. We are going to start with Jay-Z. Gail King recently inducted one of the best interviews I've seen her done. I got the kick out of the R. Kelly one because that, that was a good one too because R. Kelly had his antics. But this one was really good because Jay-Z doesn't do a lot of interviews. They talked about the Book of Hope, this exhibit at the Brooklyn Public Library, which is going to be there until December the 4th. It's free, y'all. So if you plan on going up there or if you live in the area, it's amazing. One of the things I did this summer, I took day trips. And that was on my bucket list. I said, I got to make it up to Brooklyn. I got to see this Book of Hope, which was amazing because it gave me a whole new perspective and appreciation of his career and what he has done with that whole Jay-Z brand. They did replicas of studios. You go through his life and the music and... It was really good. And he opened up in an incredible way. And just to find out that he is like other parents when you wonder if your kids think that you are cool. I have to tell my son all the time. He's, he thinks all I do is nag. And I said, oh, excuse me, I'm cool. I said, your mama's cool. I said, you don't think so? Because I'm always like, you gotta do this, clean up the room. Da -da 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 -da. I said, but I'm cool. And it was so funny to hear him talk about his daughter, Blue Ivy. And he said, yeah, she went through a period where she didn't think I was cool. And I was like, wow, he is like other parents. Jay-Z has often been criticized because when he has that line, I'm a business man. And it's about, it's about business and a lot of other artists that he has worked with, and they said, well, he left us behind. Let me tell you something, unfortunately, and this may sound cool. Everybody is not ready. Everybody is not meant to go where you're going. And there will be a lot of people that you will leave behind, and you will feel some guilt. But some people aren't ready. They're still doing foolish and dumb things. He was not letting anything deter him. And this one's before... He got with Beyonce. They have formed a power couple, their family, and he talked about her a little bit, but I like how they kind of keep the two separate. Like when he got in inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and she didn't show up because she knew she wanted that moment to be him, not people taking pictures of her. Uh, when he accompanied her on the Renaissance tour and he was just happy to be in the audience watching his daughter and his wife. Look for it on YouTube, CBS Mornings, Gail King. It was a great interview. It was in two parts. He learned so much. But that exhibit, December the 4th, it ends at the Brooklyn Public Library, and it's free. Now, speaking of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the induction is one week from today, Friday, November the 3rd. It's going to be at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Uh, it's going to be airing on Disney+. Plus. It has a brand new home. Missy Elliott, these are all the people being inducted. I'm doing this on top of my head. Missy Elliott, Willie Nelson, George Michael, Kate Bush, Sheryl Crow, Don Cornelius, The Spinners, writer Bernie Taupin, Shaka Khan. Oh, what a night this is going to be with these legends getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Disney Plus, everybody. I'm sure they're going to be having highlights, but it's going to be live on Disney Plus next Friday. I'm doing a... I, I play oldies um, on Sunday nights at the radio station I work with, WDAS. I'm going to do a big tribute on the spinners. They had, like, such great music. First concert I ever went to was the Spinners and the main ingredient. They were such a part of my life and growing up, um, a group that my parents loved. So it's really good to see them getting inducted. And Don Cornelius, too, the founder of Soul Train, into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But on Sunday night, I'm going to be playing a lot of Spinners. There's nothing like great music. Screen Actors Guild. This strike is going to... Oh, when is it going to end? When is it going to end? 
They're saying they would rather stay on strike than accept a bad proposal. I don't know why they want to give these guys a hard way to go, especially with the streaming and the money and give up some of that money. I feel bad for they, they call the starving artists. Everybody ain't making the money that Tom Cruise is making or Denzel per movie. And you got families and mortgages and uh, you got bills. I'd be glad when these actors can go back to work. Usher is doing halftime at next year's Super Bowl. And everyone is wondering, well, who's going to perform with him? Y'all know Lil John going to be there because they got to do yeah. But don't look for Justin Bieber. Don't look for Justin Bieber because they're saying Justin is dealing with a lot of mental stuff and he's not ready to go on stage. So he will not be one of those. Chris Tucker has settled his debt with the IRS. He's been having trouble with tax people for years, but Chris Tucker is finally doing what he's supposed to be doing, and he has settled his IRS debt. Rihanna, we know the makeup, we know the skincare line, we know the lingerie, but have you heard about the Fenty sneakers? She is teamed up with Puma. They're going to be available for men, women, children. Price range 80 to $170. Will Smith has launched his new podcast on Audible. Class of 88, it's an eight-part series where he sits down with hip-hop legends, you know, all commemorating the 50 years of hip-hop. The one with Queen Latifah just launched, and it was a great conversation. It was really funny when he says, we're here. We're really here. We're here, 50 years of hip-hop. Will Smith's Class of 88 is available on Audible. Today was short and sweet. It was short and sweet, but there's a weekend edition. Yes, there is. There's a weekend edition. I have a young lady who puts it all together, LaShawna Simon. So we keep you busy on the weekends as well. Hope it is a great weekend. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Auntie reads the comments and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Have a great weekend and be safe out here. Be safe. It's something when you have to, you know, just tell people, just be aware of your surroundings and be safe. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.